Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my Time to Shine deck. Aries, let's have a look at your cards for the week starting the 17th of July. And first of all, from the Teacup Tarot deck. Now, your overall energy here is the Two of Pencils. And this card asks you to make a decision. It says that the indecision is what's been keeping you stuck. And if we look on the card, look, she can't decide between this or that. So your overall energy this week, your mindfulness is to gather all your information together and make a positive choice. Your help or your hurdle, in comes the Queen of Teacups to help you. Now, we've got two queens in your reading from the tarot cards and the queens are very strong energy an authority figure in the deck and the message the queen of teacups brings is first of all one of self-care so just make sure that your work-life balance is in balance this week and the second message that she brings the absolute qualities that she embodies are charity humanity and humility, and very often in a role where they step up to help other people, especially to make other people feel loved and cared for. And that's just what she's doing on the card, look. She's making an enormous pot of tea to give out to other people. So the message here, aside from self-care, is this could very well be to do with a charitable role, a volunteering role, some sort of role where you are helping other people. Your guidance here, the Four of Wands, is lovely. It's the card of success. You're clearly going to do this because here's the success just further along. This is you being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. And it's reminding you to say thank you. It's all right to be the giver all the time, but it's just as important to receive as well with grace and with gratitude. How can you help yourself? Up steps the Queen of Wands. Now here is a card. The energy around this card is one of, oh yes, I can. This is self-confidence. This is self-belief in a nutshell. In an instant, the Queen of Wands can manifest exactly what she needs. And that's just what she's done here, look. A cup of tea, a pot of tea and a cake all at once, just like that. Because she's learned how to do it. Her mantra is, oh yes, I can. And sometimes you just watch me. So how can you help yourself in relationship to this card says, Self-belief, self-confidence, oh yes I can, and start to manifest what it is that you would like. Pulling it all together, in comes the Knight of Pencils with a lovely message. Now the Knights are all really fast-moving energy. That's why they're all on motorbikes in this deck. And they come charging in with a message. And the Knight of Pencil says, make wise and sensible choices. Now, we were talking about that here. This is a week of choices where you need to think it through, look at all your options and act accordingly. And your final outcome card is lovely. The Empress, here she is, sleeves rolled up, busy, busy working on those new projects and new ideas. So you're clearly going to take notice of this because this is you getting busy, not just thinking about it, not just talking about it, busy doing. So just to summarise the tarot cards, this is the week to make careful, well thought out choices because it's the lack of decisions that have perhaps 
perhaps kept you a little bit stuck. Focus on self-care and work-life balance, but also how can you help others? You're ready to do this. You've got everything you need. Oh, yes, you can. The success is waiting for you. You just need to make your wise choices and then get busy. So let's get a little bit more information and clarifying from the Time to Shine deck. The Eight of Thought says, don't let any old habits of thought hold you back. Oh, yes, I can. Needs to be your mantra this week. That's just what I was saying here. The 21 of Wisdom is celebrating the end of one project. It's about endings, but also about new beginnings. And this is about a positive move forward, advancement and success. The two of thought, we've got a double message as if we haven't said it twice already. Same card, different deck. Trust that you already know what to do and make a positive decision. The Four of Wisdom says step up, get organised, make your plans. This is you stepping up into this leadership energy, getting organised, getting sorted and making new plans. So new decisions, new plans. The Four of Thought says make your decisions carefully again. Talk things over with somebody else. Stop, have a tea break. Make time and make your decisions carefully. And your final outcome card is lovely. This is you moving on, being happy and enjoying things as they get better. So clearly you're going to make your wise and sensible choice. Then get busy. Make your plans, get your sleeves rolled up, get to work on those new ideas. Don't let any negativity hold you back. This is the time for moving forward, advancement and success. And you climbing that staircase of success. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. It's free and it makes a huge difference to me. And also you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now and I'll see you soon.